Hey. Oh, boys. It's a cold November morning, and Lester Belfour is taking a group of boys to check his snares, about a 40-minute drive north of Norway House Cree Nation. Oh, yes, we got a wapus. We got one wapus, eh? Wapos is Cree for rabbit. For the boys, they're not only learning to survive off the land, they're learning their language, their culture, including traditional snaring techniques. I usually measure with, with my fist kind of thing. When the rabbit runs in and gets caught, and I kind of twist this so it won't slip down. So when it gets caught, it'll... And the idea being is it runs through, it gets tighter and tighter around its neck. Yes. There are lessons to be learned with trapping. You aren't the only ones looking for rabbits. Someone got to a rabbit. Oh. Look. What animal got it? A rabbit. Another Looks. rabbit. No, I think that's a... Oh. A lynx. Just left a piece of the head left. So a lynx got it. So there's other predators. So we're not the only ones that are trying to eat the rabbit. <laughs> Belfour has been doing this kind of work for years. Over the summer, he taught over 100 kids how to trap, fish, and prepare their catch, which included building a smoker. We smoked fish there. I think we smoked about 64, and it took two days because it was a big smoker. And we fed the community, and that's what we do. Got a lot bush. Belfour dreams of one day opening a cultural camp, saying that when he was younger, he could have benefited from something like that. For one boy out that morning, he says being on the land is good for his self-confidence. Myself, I feel like um, I'm, I'm just myself, like feeling better, staying outside. Belfour does all this work voluntarily to encourage kids to go back to a traditional way of living. And that's what I'm trying to show the, the kids to go back to the land and eat well food. Belfour says a traditional diet with homegrown vegetables and wild meats helps him stay healthy. And for the elders in his community, it's a lifestyle they've always known. I do feed the community with fish and we're going to get some rabbits too. Is when we get a lot, we'll post and say, pick up your rabbits. So we feed the elders. So A practice of sharing he's instilling in the kids. Here, you can have the rabbit. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Good meal. Giving back to community, carrying traditions forward. Stephanie Cram, CBC News, Norway House Cree Nation.